Our top priority right now in Asia will be Myanmar first, because I think we are confronted with an issue which is, uh, which is complex. More than 600,000 people have fled, as we know, from Myanmar to Bangladesh. And I think it's a situation which will last. And I think we need to be, to be aware of, uh, of what is happening there and being able to follow and really trying to do our work within the crisis. So that's one. Priority number two is Philippines, uh, very important. I think we should not underestimate what happens in Marawi and in Mindanao. And I think we will also focus in a country which is also prone to natural disaster. Priority three, very important for us, is of course Afghanistan. I don't think we will see a deal, at least not in the coming months, which will help the people to uh, somewhat find a certain stability. So what we'll see is also more migrant cri crisis, and maybe that's the fourth priority. The migrant crisis will continue to, to affect Asia. And the fifth priority for us is of course what is happening or what might happen in the Korean Peninsula. We have a role to play, uh, very specific when it comes to uh, connecting family together. In war, sometimes, or in crisis, your family links are broken and we are bringing them back together. Technology is, is totally central to, to our work. And I would say two types of technology. First, low-tech technology. We always forget frugal technology. Because I think one thing we always forget is technology requires electricity and recall power. And there is a lot of places where the power is not a given at all. So we need to build constantly and use really innovation to build very low-tech technology who help us, in fact, to, uh, to produce a sustainable response. That's very critical, especially when it comes to health. At the same time, you have to be cutting edge. One of the big questions right now we're working on is blockchain. We have to master the question of blockchain because tomorrow, if you think two minutes about that, you might be forced to migrate yourself. Today, it's very difficult to carry your identity. Most of the time, you will lose your passport, your, your identity will not be recognized, recognized in another country. The, the big things we're working right now is how are we able to provide people with technical, digital identity, which will help them to you know, have a continued access to health, for example. But to do that, you need to protect their data. Protection of data will be one of the central questions we will have to deal with. And here, we have to be at the cutting-edge technology.